What is your name? Gail Tempest. What is your occupation? I'm a dancer. On the night of February the 13th, were you working at the Black Bottom Cafe when this murder was committed? Yes, but I didn't do it. Then who killed Kirk Robin? I don't know. Didn't you kill Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor, and ask that the last question be stricken from the records. It is merely an attempt to influence this intelligent, broad-minded, and most intellectual jury. Objection sustained. Thank you, Your Honor. That is all. Quiet, Polly. If it please the court, Your Honor, at this time, I would like to introduce my three main witnesses, Howard, Fine, and Howard. <clears throat> They were here a minute ago. Will you pardon me, Your Honor? I'll be right back. Hey, what's the idea of spoiling the game? I was for onesies. Well, here's twosies. Oh, oh! Uh, he has five. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, don't you realize Miss Gail Tempest's life is at stake? Oh, Gail! Uh, 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 Please try to be a little more quiet in the court. Certainly, Judgey. The gate is locked. Would you please step forward? No, no, no. Prepare yourself for the witness box. Take off your hat. Now raise your right hand. Now place your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Now put your left hand here. Please take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Hmm. Now put your left hand here. Will you please take off your hat? Raise your right hand. Hmm. Now put your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Will you get rid of that hat? Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Huh? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Are you trying to give me the double talk? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Why don't you answer him? He's talking pig Latin. I don't know what he's saying. He's asking you if you swear. No, to... but I know all the words. He's asking you if you'll swear to tell the truth. Truth is stranger than fiction, Judgy Wudgy. <laughs> Kindly address this court as your honor and take the oath. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all truth, and nothing but the truth? Certainly. What have I got to lose? Take the stand. Where did I put it? No, no. Take the stand. I got it. Now what will I do with it? Sit down. <laughs> You're in a court, not in Clancy's pool room. Sit down. I'm a victim of circumstance. Sit down. Who are you hitting? Oh, you're gone. <laughs> You're gone. Be quiet. Proceed with the case. 
Were you in the Black Bottom Cafe on the night of February the 13th? Certainly. Did you at that time see the defendant, Miss Gail Tempest, in any way, shape, or form, commit or try to commit bodily harm to the deceased Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor. Counsel's trying to lead the witness. Objection sustained. Hmm. Mr. Howard, did you see Miss Gail Tempest in physical fight with Kirk Robin? If it pleases the court, may I suggest that counsel be instructed to allow the witness to testify to what he saw. I say, Jasper, uh, what comes after 75? 76. That's the spirit. <laughs> Request granted. Proceed with the testimony. Mr. Howard, kindly tell the court what you know about the murder of Kirk Robin. Well, it was like this, Mr. Court. Address the judge as your honor. Well, it was like this, my honor. Your honor, not my honor. Why? Don't you like him? Allow the witness to proceed. The court understands him. Thanks, Cordy. You're a pal. Well, me and my pals, we're musicians. We were tearing up some hot swing music in the orchestra. Gail over there was swinging the fans. Her sweetie, Kirk Robin, was inhaling a bottle of hooch at a table. And a hoofer by the name of Buck Wing was getting ready to shake his tootsies. Kindly speak English and drop the vernacular. Vernacular? That's a derby. Drop the vernacular. No, no, not that. Talk so the jury can understand. Is everybody dumb? Say, Judgy, if you let me, my partner, and Gailey kind of act it out for you, we'll show you just what happened. If counsel doesn't object, that's an excellent idea. No objections. No objections. No objections. <laughs> okay, Gailey. I'll sue you for this. Oh, superstitious, eh? Oh, vice I kid. Gentlemen, you must control your killing instincts. Proceed with the testimony, please. Proceed. Oh! Submit the rest of the entertainment and continue. Now, Gailey's dance was over. I stuck my head in the office door and I saw Craig Robin and Buckwing arguing. 
over by the parrot cage. What were they arguing about? I don't know, but Buckwing was sizzling like a hot hamburger. He grabs Kirk by the neck like that, see? And drags him over to the letter press, see? Then he smacks him on the head like that. Then he pokes his coconut into the letter press, see, like that. Then he says, I'll squeeze the cider out of your Adam's apple. Then he gives him the works, like this. And he keeps turning and twisting. That, ladies and gentlemen, is... of this pistol is so hard, it would take the strength of a mule to pull the trigger. Try it. I'm no mule. No, your ears are too short. Mm. Mm. So I'm a mule. Pull the trigger. Never fear, it's not loaded. Could Gale Tempest's frail little finger pull the rusty trigger of that instrument of destruction? See, there was nothing in it. <laughs> Broad Lane, 9972, after five o'clock. that gum. Shut that off. Wait a minute, I'll have to tie a 
Here, knock this. Give me that. I, I got it. Got it? Get this. Who killed Kirk Robin? I killed Kirk Robin. And not with my little bow and arrow. Don't try to find me as I'm shuffling off the buffalo. Sign, Buck Wing. Oh,